go pretty well. So, all right, here we go. We are live. Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. I hope you are all doing amazing, having a great start to your day. And I am really excited to be here today with Miss Margaret Williamson. She has an amazing story to share about her Ruby Ribbon stylist experience and a couple recent wins that she has had, um, including one of her best months ever in sales and being able to gift her husband something for his 80th birthday. And I'll let her share what that is. But before we get started, Margaret, into your recent wins, would you be open to sharing a little bit with us about your background, um, where you grew up, your family, and your situation? Um, how long do you have, <laughs> you know, <laughs> when you get to be my age, I'm 73. And uh, so there's a lot of history, but I'm originally from Northern Canada. Uh, I married an American citizen and um, ended up down in Georgia. So that's kind of the, a long story short. Uh, we have six children and 15 grandchildren. We live in the mountains of North Georgia, a beautiful little community called Ella J. Uh, which is an Indian name, and I don't remember what it is, but we live on the Kusawati River, and um, that is famous for um, a movie with Burt Reynolds uh, that most people don't like to even talk about, so that, um, I'm not <laughs> but um, just, um, you know, member of the community involved in uh, various activities in our church, and um, is that, I studied um, engineering, ended up in medicine, and then retired uh, from all of that to um, be a uh, stay-at-home mom. And um, I did own a business for a while. I did uh, picture framing. Um, that I have a left brain, right brain. So the artistic side and the, and the science side, but stayed home with my kids and, um, and then have done some direct sales. But I'll, this, is, this is the most exciting one I've ever done. Ruby Ribbon. I love that. And so, you know, just hearing your story, it sounds like you are adaptable going from Canada to Georgia to engineering <laughs> to creativity. It's um, quite the quite the experience, quite the story, I'm sure. And, um, you know, maybe you can share a little bit more capitalizing on those talents that you have uh, to start your Ruby Ribbon business. So how did you get started? And, um, you know, you shared with me, you had, you know, some smaller goals maybe, but then you ended up having your best month ever. So what was that like for you and what changed that helped you get there? Well, from the beginning, um, I was on a vendor, um, online vendor event and, um, I was, uh, I heard Tiffany, it was Tiffany Anderson, and she was talking about uh, Ruby Ribbon, and I really, you know, wasn't too interested, um, especially when I looked and saw the price of some of the, uh, of the camis, that's what I was interested in, and, but I ended up ordering one, um, a, actually a Demiette because of the one simple promise and that was that the straps would never fall down my shoulders and that has been a lifelong issue with me my husband i've even had him tie a ribbon in the back to hold them together especially when we're traveling it was just a, a major annoyance and anyways um then i went on a free cami call and i won a cami and you know what they say the rest is history uh i wanted more um, Tiffany presented the opportunity to me. I was kind of, um, well, yeah, okay, you know, I'll give it a try. But there's a competitive nature in me. <laughs> um, I'm not just satisfied with providing my, putting more camis in my closet. I want other women to have camis in their closet. My big month was in October. And um, should I, I say how, it was a $3,500. So uh, month and I went up a level in my pay grade at that time and, th and that was exciting and you mentioned my husband's 80th birthday so with that commission I was able he's he turned 80 um, and he would always wanted to have a flight in a p51 Mustang um, that is a an amazing uh, aircraft it was a um, 
um, fighter bomber, well, a fighter jet, but it also was an escort for the bigger planes in during the Second World War. They escorted them further in to the, uh, to the uh, enemy lines and were able to, um, well, they were able to win the war. So the P-51 Mustang, uh, he, I gave him a half hour ride and that was over a thousand dollars for that ride. And wow. he, he was just ecstatic. I mean, he, this was the dream of his lifetime and I was able with my commission to fulfill that for him. Ah, oh, that is so beautiful. I love that. And how many people, like, what a great story. How many people can say, you know, they gift their husband, their 80th birthday present to ride in something that was this Mustang that was their dream to do. And, and um, to be able to do that because you've been a little bit competitive, right? <laughs> Trying right. to get candies in other ladies' closets and it, it blesses you, blesses you too. So I love that. And um, so you shared also with me before the interview that you like to garden and hobbies and how do the, how do the camis, um, how are the camis involved in your lifestyle? Well, you know, everything um, is uh, objective, subjective. If when you say gardening, um, my gardening is more than just going out there and, you know, doing a little bit of weeding. I, we have about an eight, one and a half acres on a mountainside and it's a constant battle with nature. So, uh, and the deer. Um, so I build a lot of rock walls and we, since we're in Georgia, we have a lot of marble uh, underground and I dig up these huge boulders and I make rock walls with that. And it, you know, it, it wears on my back. Like I said, I'm 73. Um, and just digging that, those up and rolling them up the hill or putting them in my cart, whatever I do, I always have my cami on it supports my back. And I, I never, um, with all the weeding that I do, uh, pruning, everything, that always bothered my back. With a camion, even a level four, not even a level five, I never have that backache. And I'm comfortable, I feel supported all over. I have no restriction on movement, I can reach, I can climb. Um, and I never have the boob sweat. I used to wear a sports bra when I did all that and I'd come in and it would just be, excuse me, stinky and wet and my clothes would be like that. I never have that with a cami on. It's, it's amazing. It's a miracle. <laughs> I love that. And I love that, you know, we have products that can support an active lifestyle, mm -hmm. pain-free lifestyle. And that's amazing. I'd love to see a picture of your garden with your marble walls. You'll have to post one, post one for us sometime. Um, but congratulations on, on all of the wonderful things that you've been able to do for your family, for your business, for other women you're impacting, and all the while doing it with joy. And maybe, I know I didn't ask you this ahead of time, um, but maybe you can share a little bit. So you mentioned, um, you know, you're in your retirement and you actually don't really need extra income, but you enjoy doing this and you love to fund travel as well. Do you have any upcoming trips or exciting things, anything you've been able to do so far? Well, um, going back to gifting, you know, I was able to add a little extra dollars to, um, we have, like I said, 15 grandchildren, and then we have six children. So that's a lot of gifts. And my husband's always saying, you know, you have to scale back. You can't do this. We can't give a present to everyone. And I say, you can't? Like, what's the problem here? So um, I was able to get some extra things for my grandchildren and give them uh, even some money to their, I've got, um, let's see, four that are in college right now. So it's, I love to be able to Venmo them, you know, $10 or whatever, go to Starbucks and have your favorite, whatever it is they like. Um, and I gave my husband, my husband is my barista. I have a personal barista. He makes me cappuccino every morning. Um, we go in the hot tub. I have arthritis and I have fibromyalgia. So the hot tub is, is really great for that. He makes cappuccino. We go out there and um, then we have our little devotional together out in the porch. Even in the winter, we have a little heater and we sit out there. Um, but I was able to get him a new coffee maker as well because one of his older ones, um, well, it was showing, it was showing its age. <laughs> and so I was able to get him a new one for Christmas and he was really excited about that. Um, 
now what else did you ask me i get on this tangent um remind That's me okay. what else yeah. did you that, um if you had any travel plans um yes. we're, mentioned leaving, we're leaving on the 29th of this month to go to ireland yeah. and it you know it's it's not in season we'll probably have some rain um we have rain here right now in georgia so that's why i have my my mink velour ruby ribbon uh outfit on because it's a little chilly down here in the laundry room um but yeah so we're going to go to ireland and, and we're going to go to a part of ireland that we've never been to before um the south east around tipperary south of, du of dublin and we're excited about that we uh, we don't do some real luxury tours anymore but this will be fine you know we're, we're looking forward to it we did have a christmas market um trip plan but it got canceled because of all the lockdowns in in austria and germany but we're we have that booked again for next year hopefully we'll both be around and be able to do that so and we're going to um england to visit a friend in may so yes travel i love traveling wow and just hearing this for perspective, I just turned 30 this year. And to hear I'm about sure your you. to hear about your retirement, the blessings, being in the hot tub every morning, having cappuccino with your husband. You have, you know, been blessed with amazing health. And that's something you cultivate, you know, with yeah. your garden and exercise. I think it just sounds like something a lot of us admire and aspire, you know, to be in our retirement. Good health, good marriage healthy yeah. finances, healthy body. Um, and then, you know, having this extra income to be able to bless those grandbabies. And I hope someday I get to have 15 too. Um, we have four right now. So I just, uh, four children. Um, I wanted to just touch on that briefly before we close too. Um, and Margaret, maybe you can share, because for me, when I started the business, um, I was 26. Ooh. maybe 25. And I felt unqualified thinking, you know, I don't have a large network. I don't have a lot of experience, but I think sometimes as people are entering into their retirement years, they might feel a little bit differently. Like, you know, I don't know if I'm able to use technology or I don't know, <laughs> you know, if I'm going to be able to adapt to what those young people are doing, you know? So I think sometimes no matter what our age is, we sometimes have that fear. So maybe you could just share, you know, if and encourage if there's somebody listening who might be nearing her retirement years or already in them, who's been considering doing this business, do you have any advice for her to just, you know, maybe just try it and yeah, maybe cultivate, you could speak a, it. cultivate a good relationship with your grandchildren because they are really technically savvy. And this morning I was already technically challenged. I didn't know how to do this. And um, and you were very gracious and led me through it and it worked and, and I'm grateful for that. And so, yeah, you, you know, we have a great team in Ruby Ribbon. Um, I'm still, I'm trying to learn Canva and, but I don't have time. I'm trying to sell, but I can go on one of the stylist pages and I can say here, this is what I'd like to do. Can, can you help me? And like, Minutes later, there I have what I've asked for with no, nobody saying, oh, you know, you, you're just, you can't figure this out for yourself. You know, well, that's a problem. That's your problem. No, everybody is there to help. And so I have grown. I've only been with Ruby Ribbon since April of last year. And it's amazing what I have learned. And I, it's amazing too, how I've learned to step out of a comfort zone. Um, I've always interacted with people around me. In fact, maybe too much. You know, I talk a lot, <laughs> but um, it's still, you still have these comfort zones. Um, you know, do you want to go around and tell buddy, you know, I see these stylists that, you know, lift up, well, I could unzip her, you know, there we go. <laughs> but they flash, you know, um, and, and it's amazing. I mean, I can tell people, hey, I sell ladies underwear. <laughs> Um, and I never thought that I would be talking about boobs and butt lifts and all that kind of thing. But yeah, I do. And, and it's amazing how it's re they receive it because they are in the same position that I am. They've you know gotten older. Things are not where they used to be. You know, gravity works against us. We've had children. We've had uh, weight loss, weight gain. And I always tell everybody I have a great picture that I show 
um, that I look like a Sharpay puppy without my cami on. And, and that's, you know, and so when you tell people that and they say, oh, yeah, you know, that could be me too. And how can I look nice and slim like you do? Mm-hmm. And so it's, it's a, I'm, I'm very happy sharing. I love it. So relatable. Everything you just said, I feel like as women, we all want to look our best and feel our best. And thank you, you know, for touching on that. I wanted to get to that too, about the community that we have. And, and I think what a beautiful thing that has cultivated community within your own family, with your grandchildren, helping you with the tech, you know, maybe you can, you, you can uh, have one of them assist you with the Canva, <laughs> Canva <laughs> photos for you or something. So, and it's not just you, you know, like we all have those tech things that I don't know what to do last week. I didn't know how to do this kind of um, interview style using StreamYard either. So learning, growing, succeeding together. I love having you as a part of our team. We all love embracing all the different, you know, personalities, um, ages and stages of life. So thank you so much for your time this morning, Margaret. We appreciate having you. There's one, one more thing that, um, yes. that I'm going to learn. I'm going to go back and, and watch a replay of it but how to do a reel. Oh, love it. It's like the rage, you know, and people are really bringing on more people into their VIP um, fa- Facebook groups. And so I don't know if I'm quite ready, but I'll give it a try. Absolutely. And I don't know if you know, we have um, a couple of ladies on our team who are really um, crushing it with their reels and we have a couple trainings in our team group. So um, if you wanted to access those and if anybody's listening and you were interested in um, checking those, we have those in the guides of our team training group. And um, we had a good training by Livy last night as well. So I'm so proud of you, Margaret, how exciting that you're going to be trying the reels too. And If you are a stylist listening to this video and you want to share your story and a recent win that you have had or share your experience with Ruby Ribbon, we would love to have you in one of our future stylist spotlight videos. So just let us know. And if you are someone watching this and you have been considering becoming a stylist, we would love to have you. Um, Please do check out our other stylist interviews. There are so many wonderful women who are a part of this community ready to lock arms with you and celebrate the wins with you as well and help you grow the closets, um, your closet full of camis too, as Margaret sharing. So thank you so much, Margaret. Appreciate your time today. Thank you everyone for watching and we'll we'll see you on the next Stylist Spotlight. Thank you so much. It's been fun. Thank you, Margaret. Bye.